hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can integrate hubspot with salesforce so having said that let's just jump into the video now there are two ways to do that first is an easy method the other one is also an easy method but it's a little bit more you know complicated it's a little bit lengthy i wouldn't say complicated because they're both pretty easy so let's go ahead and start with the first one so first one you're just simply going to go ahead and sign into your hubspot account right so this is how it looks like now what you're going to do next is just simply come over here and click on the marketplace at the top right corner right and then over here it's going to ask you app market or asset market or solution directory you're just simply going to click on app market and then it's going to take you over to the app market where you just simply find the application that you're looking for so over here as you can see hubspot can connect with over thousands of applications all at once so it's pretty amazing you know so what you're going to do is just simply search for salesforce and then we're going to see salesforce over here then what we're going to do is we're just simply going to click on the application and then we can just simply click on the install application now for this one you have to you know upgrade your plan but it's pretty simple right it works 100 percent. this was the easier method right you can just simply click over here you can just simply go ahead and install the application now if for some reason you still want to continue using the free plan uh, so the other method can be applied over here as well so the other method is also pretty simple and what we're going to do over here in the second method is we're just simply going to go over to this application called zapier now zapier is a pretty amazing application that lets you you know integrate and with that lets you integrate multiple different softwares with one another so it's pretty simple let's go ahead and use it so over here what we're going to do is we're just simply going to sign up the sign up process is also going to be very simple uh you can either sign up with your microsoft account or your facebook account or your google account right or you can sign up with your email address and we're just simply going to go ahead and sign up with google so then you just simply you know answer these questions you can skip these questions as well but it's better if you answer them so for now i'm just simply going to skip and i'm going to skip this for now and then we will go ahead and you know convert this over here it's pretty simple you just create your own workflow so what you're going to do is you're simply going to search for an app that you want to connect with and then you can connect it with this application over here so let's say over here we have some examples so over here we have some examples like you know gmail is connected with drive gmail is connected with sheets the, uh, google fonts is connected with gmails sheets is connected with gmail as well so well, these are some examples that you can try right but they also work pretty well so let me just go ahead and show you so if i click on try it so gmail with google drive and go ahead and test it out so over here we're going to add the trigger then we're going to add an action and then we're going to add an action over here so over here let's go ahead and add a trigger so connect gmail so we got to connect our gmail account and once you've connected it just simply allow it and then once it's you've done that you're good to go right so then you click on continue and you set up a trigger so over here label the mailbox or all mail so over here you can enter in your chat your send your trash or draft or spam or whatever you want right or unread so we'll just say chat and we'll just say in string in is going to be in send right so we'll just simply click on continue and then we're going to test the trigger all right they'll find a recent attachments in your google gmail account to confirm that the right account is connected to your trigger is set up so we're going to simply click on test and then over here we couldn't find an attachment well we'll just simply skip this test pretty much get the point then down below you can just simply click on continue and then over here this will be the action the attachment and then contains text and you can just enter in the text as well over here one new attachment or attachment over here or some previous ones that you can find and then just simply click on continue and you can go ahead and upload a file into your google drive through gmail so it's pretty simple now let me try another one with a little bit more flexibility so what i wanted to do was if someone you know like for example um, uploads a file into my drive or stuff like that i would get a mail so i want to just test that out so let's go ahead and search for an app and then i'm going to show you how you can do it you can do this exact same thing as well with other ones so first i'm going to choose google drive right and i'm going to choose an action over here we have an event and then i want to choose an event and over here new file in folder here we go and then we'll just simply click on continue and then we'll just simply sign into our google drive we'll just simply allow our google drive over here to connect with zapier and then over here we choose an account all right we've chosen that account we're good to go then we simply click on continue now over here we choose a value we enter in 
my drive and turn in our custom field as well. So I'm going to choose my drive and I'm going to choose a folder over here. And down below, we have a bunch of different folders. So I'm just simply going to choose this one right here. And then I'm going to click on continue. Now it's going to test a trigger, right? So then we just simply test the trigger. So I'm going to click on test. They're going to find a new recent file over here. They found the file and then we'll just simply click on continue. All right, now we put the action. So the action could be anything. It can be a Google Sheets or Docs or Slack or filter based API or contacts as well. So I'm going to choose Gmail and I'm going to choose an event and it's going to send me email. And over here, click on continue. And then we're going to choose the account and then we'll just simply click on setup. Now we will enter in our own and we'll enter it in a text. We'll just say new file in folder and then we'll just say from this email and then we'll just say our name file has been uploaded and then we'll add in our signature if you want to but if you don't want to you can leave it blank and then you can add an attachment but generally i think we're done so we'll just simply click on test and continue now it's going to test so over here as you can see it works perfectly we tested it out and it's worked so over here i think i sent the email let me check so over here, as you can see, we have the email address. So as you can see, it works 100% to us from my another Gmail account to this account, but it works 100%. So as you can see, it works. So this is what we're going to be doing, right? So I'm not going to publish this because this was just a draft one. So I'm just simply going to discard over here. And now we're going to set up our main zap. So that little trigger, that little thing that I just, that little integration that I just did, it's called a zap. So now we'll go ahead and create a zap. So uh, as I said before, we want to connect HubSpot and Salesforce, right? So over here, this is going to be the app event. So we'll just simply search for HubSpot over here. We'll just simply click on that. And then we want to choose an event. What will happen? New contact. Let's go ahead and add a new contact. And we'll just simply click on continue. All right. And now we have to sign in into our, now we'll just simply click on continue and we sign in into our HubSpot account. We choose our account and we click on next and then we just simply click on connect app and we should be good to go now. Here we go. Now we just simply click on continue. This is the property. Uh, we have the list over here. We'll just choose a value if you want to. You can add additional properties if you want to, but we'll just simply click on continue. Now we're going to test the trigger. All right. We're going to test it out and here we go. So, I mean, we didn't add any context, but you know, it's just for the video. Then we'll just simply click on next and over here we'll click on continue and then what we want to do is we want to connect to salesforce over here as you can see but it's for the premium version but you get generally get the point right then you choose an event and you can click over here and you can create an account over here on salesforce as well so uh, whenever you create a new account on hubspot you can easily create an account on salesforce as well pretty simple then we just simply sign in into our salesforce account and we allow them and we are good to go then we just as i said before we have our account we just click on continue and then we add the account right so over here we add a account you know we add an option we enter in the last name the first name the situation the middle name the suffix and all of that and once we've entered in all of these fields we should be good to go so it's pretty simple so pretty much that's it that's the second way that you can do this now as i said before this is a little more bit lengthy but it's also very simple so these are the two ways that you can integrate salesforce with hubspot so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye